Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday Live. My name is Ashley Hay. I'm a mixed media artist, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Easy 3D Flex from Powertex Art Supplies. So, as many of you know, I love working with Powertex in my artwork. Um, you can just create amazing textures and gorgeous effects in the layers of your artwork. So it's, it's just perfect. So if you are a mixed media artist, sculptor, you make jewellery, Easy 3D Flex is a really versatile product for you to use in your artwork. So um, this week we have just released a little explainer video about what is Easy 3D Flex. So if you would like to learn a little bit more about the product, you can actually watch that. So you'll find that on the Powertex Australia channel on YouTube. And of course, there's a few other things there as well for you to watch, like what's the difference between Easy 3D Flex and Stone Art. So today I thought we would focus a little bit on Easy 3D Flex and I'd just show you a little bit more with it and some of the beautiful textures that you can create for your artwork. So whether you are a sculptor, um, painter or whether you make jewellery, whatever it is you do, the Easy 3D Flex is very, very versatile and the possibilities are endless with this amazing product. So you are going to love it. So you're in for a treat if you haven't used it at all yet. So you will need Easy 3D Flex and Powertex Ultimate Medium. So today I'm actually going to be using the Ivory Powertex and also um, the 3D Flex. So Robin's just saying hello and she said that I'm looking very red today. Yes, I've got the red top and the red hat. And you'll notice behind me here, I've got a new, newly lovely uh, blue wall. So I'll have to um, show you that um, in the Creative Hub. I'll, I'll do a little post for you so you can see what we've been up to here behind the scenes this week. Alrighty, so let's get started with no further ado. What I've got here is I have some Easy 3D Flex um, on the art table here. And I'll just hold it up so you can see it a little bit more clearly because the light's not very good. There we go. Um, so you can see that that has amazing crackles. This is actually done with the um, yellow Powertex Ultimate Medium and also the 3D Flex and then it's sprayed with the Bista. So today what I thought we'd do is we'd put some white in and um, we'd have a little bit of a play um, with that. So um, just wondering if there's a way to sort the lighting out a little bit <laughs> um, on the art table so it's a little bit clearer. Alrighty, so let's go. So what I have done is I have actually pre-mixed some of the Easy 3D Flex with the Ivory Powertex. And if you want to watch that, there is plenty of little videos that I've done previously where I actually show you how to, how to do that. Um, okay, so let's take a look here so with the 3d flex it is very very flexible as it suggests getting it all over my artwork hang on just bang bang that off um so this has just been made and so i put in it works out to around about 30 percent of the powertex ultimate medium to around about 70 percent of the 3d flex powder now you can see what the 3d flex looks like there so it's basically like a refined powder and it makes this really beautiful uh, stretchy clay which is such fun to use so i'm just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to wrap the rest up over here. I do like to make sure that I um, have wrapped it because otherwise you will find that it dries out while you're working. So make sure that you are doing that. Now, Robin, I know this is something that you've used quite a lot. So uh, the 3D Flex. So I'm just going to stretch a little bit of the clay 
into this little piece here. And then the thing that this is going to do is it's going to create a little bit of contrast with what's already there. But I'm going to also spray it with some Bista as well so that it ties in with the other one. Now, the Bista, if you don't know, comes in a whole range of different colours. It is a patina paint and there will be a little explainer video going up next week about what is Bista. So keep an eye out for that one as well. So if you have heard me talking about Bista lots and lots and you're not sure what it is, then you'll definitely have to check that out and I explain everything um, in that and uh, show you how to uh, stir it up as well. So I'm just going to pop this little bit that I've got left over in here. I hope you've all had a fabulous arty week and that you've been producing and lots of art and having fun. Drop me a comment if you're here. I love to hear who's on with me. And I am excited because next week we are going to be going um, to Splatter Gallery in New South Wales and I'm going to be talking with the lovely Claire Cummings and we're going to have a little uh, bit of a gallery walk through um, with her and see her artwork, see her beautiful gallery. So if you um, have some questions that you would like to ask Claire, um, then you know, make sure that you prepare them for next week and have them all ready. And then while we've got Claire on alive next week, you can actually get some feedback from her. So she has, uh, I'll be talking to you more about it uh, next week, but um, she has been working with some Powtex and is planning some Powtex classes as well. But she does a lot of um, paint and sip classes locally in the local area and uh, that are very, very popular. And as I say, her, her she's got a fantastic gallery there where she represents various artists from the local area and further afield. So if you're burning to talk to a gallery owner, next week is the week to come on board with us. Uh, Robin is just saying that she loves the um, name Splatter Gallery. Yeah, it's a great name, isn't it, Robin? So, um, all righty. So you can see there, I'm not doing this perfectly perfect. It is um, a little bit proud of the other one, but that doesn't matter. I'm just going to finish off up here and um, then we will uh, create a few little bits of stamping and then I'll show you something else as well. So, um, <laughs> Robin's just saying, come and play with the Bista Queen. Yes. Um, that would be me. I am a big fan of the Powtex uh, Bistas, the Bista Patinas from Powtex. So, of course, they come in two different ways. So they come in a pre-prepared pre spray, which is very, very convenient. So all the colours are mixed up into a liquid, but they also come in a powder form. So they are just fabulous. So... Um, lots and lots of fun to be had with Easy 3D Flex and the Bisters. It does look really nice when you use the um, a really nice combination is the red ultimate medium and then ivory and also black. You get that sort of um, Chinese art sort of look with that where... Um, you know, you get you get that lovely, uh, those lovely contrasting colours. So it is nice to work with a few different colours in the 3D Flex and uh, actually have a play with that. So I can keep going over here and I will a little bit, but let's just get some exciting textures happening onto there. And so, of course, now that I've got that down, 
I can actually just stamp into that texture beautifully, which is actually a really, really lovely thing to do. Um, so I can use anything with pattern uh, to actually stamp into that. just go around and do all of that the other thing that I can do is I can actually get a stencil and I can lay a stencil onto here and because it is so stretchy I can actually press down into here and it's going to give me real dimension Normally, I would put a tiny little bit of oil on my stencil so that it comes off really easily. But I haven't done that today, so hoping it just pulls away nicely. Plays the game for me well. I love this effect, so it's really, really, really gorgeous. All right, let's just see if we can make this one here a bit more dimensional and then carefully pull that away. So I'll just hold that up for you because you can't see it very well. Oh. Um, so that actually has real dimension. So <laughs> just trying to make it easy for you to see. Just give me the heads up if you can see how that's popping out and I might just do a little bit more so um, oops. <laughs> oops look at that I put it straight back on to where it was before don't know how I managed to do that that was quite impressive Okay, and then we might just do a little bit across here as well. Let me hold that up, hang on, and then I can show you how that is actually popping through that stencil. See if we can actually see that. See how that's actually dimensional? So it's actually popping right through and it's actually creating um, a really gorgeous texture. So you can do this with any stencils that you have. So the fantastic thing is you can press uh, stamps into it, you can press textures into it, but you can also uh, get the opposite effect by actually pressing stencils in where it becomes dimensional. Yeah, Rob is just saying that the she likes the stencil area. This is a really beautiful um, thing to do. Now, I've just picked up on a little boring bit here that doesn't have much happening, and I'm just going to press... Um, the stencil into that little bit to see if I can get a little bit more dimension happening on there which I have which is nice and uh, right so you've got the stenciling and the stamping on there and uh, so that's looking really cool and then I can actually go back into that with anything else I like. So I can use a tool like this one and I can actually um, create bigger areas with that. I can use, uh, what else have I got here? Got a little tubey thing. So this is neat because it gives me so the back of a biro is also really, really cool because you can take the end off and it gives you a bigger, holy bit to play with. I'll hold this up so you can see what this looks like because it's kind of cute. It's very bubbly. Just 
let's do a bit more. So that's uh, that bit there. So lumps and bumps, yes, lumps and bumps. And, uh, you know, you can use anything. So you can use shells, you can use uh, anything that's basically going to create texture um, to really um, do some beautiful mark making um, into the clay. So this is where the clay is really, really nice. And you can see also the other thing that happens with the 3D Flex is that when you do wet it with the bisters, which have uh, water in them, because they're wet sprays, um, or if you spray them with water, then it actually distresses the easy 3D flex and it causes these amazing uh, crack effects. So if you know that's going to happen, then you can actually, you know, plan for that elsewhere on your artwork. All right, so I'm just going to take another little bit of this quickly. And then I'll just put some a thinner layer of 3D flex down. And uh, then we'll spray it with Bista and see what we've ended up with. So if you're watching this in replay, it would be fantastic if you still drop us a comment um, and maybe put hashtag replay so that I know that you've watched it in replay. We love to know who's on with us and I love to know what you would like to learn and what you would like to uh, know as well. So for those of you who don't know, there are some um, online art workshops as well that I have actually uh, created. And one of the ones that I really like is the mixed media triptych. You learn so many different techniques in that and you get beautiful layers of um, texture and colour in your artwork through doing uh, that particular course. So if you're in Australia, you can actually get it with a product bundle. Um, or you can just purchase it um, with just the online workshop. And the great thing with those is that you have lifetime access to them. So you can just keep revisiting the content again and again and again. All right, that's looking quite nice. So I'm just going to do a little bit more of this stampy stencil that's one of my faves. And you will get your favourites that you like to use all the time. And uh, so what you're looking for is you're looking for some rubbing plates or anything that will make texture. So, um, all righty. So we've got a few little bits happening there. So you can see now we've got a bit of contrast. So it's not just all going to be the same colour anymore. When we spray it with the Bista, it will be a slightly different tone. The other thing that I can do is I can also take um, some of the uh, ivory power techs. Uh, so Robin's just saying, so you don't need to put power techs underneath the um, 3D flex clay. So um, yes, Robin, so you can see um, how I've done that. So it actually, the surface that I'm actually working onto is actually power tech. So it has already got a power tech space. But you will find that it actually sticks on there quite nicely without the power text in underneath it. And if anything does come away or come loose, you can always um, pop it back on with a little bit more power text later. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just making a little bit of a runny mix instead of such a clayey mix. And I'm just going to... Um, pop that onto some of this and create a create a different type of texture. Okay, so pull this back towards me. Palette knife. 
So it's great to have a few different types of tools. So you can see that I've got um, some different palette knives here. Uh, so there, there they are. <laughs> some different palette knives. So different shapes, different sizes. Really, really, really useful to have a few different things on hand. And you saw as well, I've got my plastic spatulas as well. So they're super, super, super handy too to actually have in your stash. All right. And then I can just pop this on where I want it. Now, what is really interesting is when you start to get the textures and colours that are underneath actually coming through your artwork. So I don't have to feel like I need to cover absolutely everything. But if I wanted to do that, then that is okay too. Because I can cover it, I can scratch it back. Um, but sometimes the less you manipulate it, if you can get it really nice in that first... Um, bit, then uh, that is really, really great. Now you can see there's a little bit of colour happening on here. That's because there is some um, uh, Vista on the artwork already. And so there's actually some red Vista, I think it is, coming through there. And um, I will pop that a bit thicker onto here cover that up fun, fun fun but then it just becomes about mark making so i can get this and i'm actually quite liking some of that splash but for the sake of this we'll just put a little bit more on and the thing is, if I create a layer that I don't like, I can always go over it and do some do some more. Alrighty. So I can actually scratch back into that if I want. So I can draw um, back into that 3D flex. And because I've got that um, layer underneath, that black layer, the black is actually going to show through. So that's, a, you know, quite nice to do. Or I can get another type of textured tool and I can actually create a bit more texture through there. Yeah. So what I would do from here is I would probably mix up a little bit more. In fact, I can just pop a little bit of ivory straight onto here. Just to fill up that corner a little bit. Who's planning a playful arty weekend? What have you got planned for this weekend art-wise? love to hear and of course um, please connect with us in the PowerTex Australia Creative Hub. We love to see what we've inspired you to do through the week and um, it's always wonderful to see what everyone is actually doing. All right so I'm just filling in this corner a little bit more. Now I've got some texture and then I've got some that's not textured, but I'm just going to pull a little bit through there and take that back again. All right. So then we can just spray this with the bisters and what the bisters will do is they will help it to um, crack Oh, 
All right. Bit of fun. Bit of fun. <laughs> That's what it's about. All right. So the water in the bista is actually going to um, help that to crack. It's also going to tone down the white, give it a different shade. And then once it is all dry, then what we can do is I can actually go back in and I can embellish it with colour. So, of course, because the Powtex is water-based, it's easy water wash up. It's super easy to use for those of you who haven't used it at all yet. Um, with the Powtex, it is... Uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember. I've lost my train of thought. But never mind, it will come back to me in a minute. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to spray this and then we're going to embellish. And uh, like I say, that's it pretty much. So let's take a look. So you can do this as heavy-handed as you like with the bis stuff. Um, I do tend to be a little bit heavy handed and of course there are um, different colours in the Bista so you don't have to just use the original Bista. So this is the original one which I actually really love. It is um, a beautiful sepia colour. This one only comes in uh, the liquid form so it doesn't come as a powder. Um, so, but in the powder form, there are seven different colours and they are just gorgeous to play with. And so you can see how that Bista is just going into the texture. And like I say, the water that is in the product is actually going to distress that 3D flex as well. Some of it will crack, some of it won't. If I wanted the just the ivory layer that I did um, just with the ivory to crack, I could actually heat that up with the hairdryer as well. I'm just going to lift this up and show you some of that um, Bista lusciousness so um, you can see how that is actually really looking when you take a close look at that surface. So it is just divine um, using these Bistas. And so what happens is the Bista goes into all the lower lying areas and then, of course, you can highlight the tops of the textures with your colours. And that's what I was going to say with the Powtex because it is water-based. You can use any water-based products that you have got with your Powtex. So if you have some beautiful acrylic paints already, you've got some Lumieres, you've got whatever um, paints that you already have that are water-based, as soon as it's touch dry, you can basically paint back into it. And, of course, if you don't have anything, then in the Powtex Art Supply range, there is also a whole lot of beautiful pigment colours. There's also the new liquid powers, which are really vibrantly coloured. So if you do like your purples, magentas, blues, teals, uh, all of those colours, the liquid powers are really, really um beautiful colours that um, are also UV stabilised. So there we have it for today's live and I hope that you've had a bit of fun joining me today and I really, really look forward to connecting with you guys in the Creative Hub and seeing what you have done and please do uh, leave a comment for me, let me know where you're from and um, as I say, next week we will be talking to the lovely Claire from Splatter Art Gallery and taking a walk around the gallery there so that you can see what she does and um, where she is and it will be fantastic to uh, have a chat with her from across the country. So she's over in New South Wales in Australia and um, for those of you overseas then it's it will be wonderful to connect with someone else over here. Alrighty everyone don't forget if you do need any further information please don't hesitate to connect with me through the hub um, or send me a private message if there's anything that you're stuck with but um, if you post it in the hub then that means that anyone else who has the same question as you've got will be able to see the question and it will probably help someone else as well. So join us there and if there's any product information you need you will 
find a lot of information on the Powtex Australia website as well. There's actually a section on tutorials and uh, there's also um, some information on each of the different products. So if you haven't started with Powtex and you want to, or if you have and you don't understand something, they're the places to have a look. All right, everyone, have a wonderful creative weekend. Look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, and I'll catch those of you who have purchased some of my art workshops uh, in the Academy, inside the Academy online. Ciao, everyone. Bye.